for mature audiences. All right, kids, it's storytelling time. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Once upon a time, a prince asked a beautiful princess, will you marry me? The princess said, no. And the prince lived happily ever after and rode motorcycles and fucked cute skinny girls and hunted race cars and went to naked bars and dated women half his age and drank. He also did beer and Jack Daniels and Captain Morgan and drank milk from the box. He also never heard bitching and went to rock concerts and kept his apartment and his favorite jeans and never got cheated on while working. And all his family and friends thought he was fucking cool as hell and had tons of money and left the toilet seat up, kids. The end. And that, of course, leads to our wonderful topic today, the myth of the fairy tale. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, the game. game. So here oh, we are wow. again. It's another <laughs> great Monday night. Uh, I'm Erwan Yusuf. I'm Stephen Koo. I'm Mark Nelson. Revilson, no filter, Fernandez. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into the meat of our subject, we're going to talk about extra, extra. So weird things have been happening in the, oh, in the world. A lot. Oh yeah. Um, I'll start. Um, there was a wedding. Since we're talking about fairy tales, yeah, there was a wedding in the states. Mm -hmm. um, perfect day. Okay. White dress, bright <laughs> lights, <laughs> like Jesus. Is yeah, there. but what was they she wearing? And basically, they were in love. <laughs> and I great. can see the train wreck. And coming. then, of course, in the Philippines, you know, the buffet, the food is so important. So it's, right. it's, it's as important in the states. So these two, the bride was there with the bridesmaid. That's nice. And they the both there. went for the same piece of chicken. <laughs> So what happened there? Whoa. They like started fucking throwing fists. <laughs> true and true story, like you know, some WWCF type of things. Pretty yeah. messed up. <laughs> WWE. Thanks, bro. I, I, I have a similar Those jam story. Getting yeah. everywhere. I mean, wow. uh, a one upper. So on that. you smacked one, someone for a, one, a piece of chicken. A one upper on that. Okay. Uh, a stressed uh, fiance, mm -hmm. uh, working twenty hours trying to win the dream wedding in a competition for his for his wife, stabs his wife. During the competition because of stress. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, After not even dream yeah. whisper. Like I understand to marry if he someone stabbed else. someone else's wife, but yeah. why would he stab yeah. his own wife? Because of stress. Because he wanted a different wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the worst dream thing wedding. is she backed him up, right? Yeah, and it's, it was for their dream wedding. Oh. It was a competition for the dream wedding. Wow. Yeah. See, that's an understanding wow. wife. Got to right love there. those okay. reality shows. Yeah. True. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, weddings are expensive. You know, you gotta sacrifice a lung, or some pints of blood, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, okay. well, you guys are talking obviously about uh, uh, about weddings, and I guess mm -hmm. that is every woman's fairy tale. So, should we get into the topic of uh, yeah. the fairy tale romance? Yeah. Let's do it. Fairy tale romance. Because what we, what you basically read out a while mm -hmm. ago, it's it, it stems from. Girls. Barney Stinson, by the way. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, okay, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Is it Barney Stinson? Yeah. Okay, have credit, to quote. Credit. Yeah, have basically to saying that like, girls always the end goal, the end objective, because when they were young, they were always reading these Disney books yeah. and everything. Yes. Um. So they're all looking for that Prince Charming, that one person they want to marry, that one person that will save them from their lives of perils and woes. Yeah. Um. Is that today in the modern day true? Is that does that still stand true? Does the Prince Charming exist? That's a correct. Question, right? Yeah, like yeah. if I'm looking around here today, there's no yeah. fucking Prince Charming around. Here. No, uh, just, well, just maybe. a bunch of frogs. Oh, wait, 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 maybe. <laughs> Sorry, you're just looking at those two. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Prince Charming will no, no, cheat no, no, on you, ladies. Well, we, Sorry, we, we both have the looks, Mark. Though. Yeah, no, 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 we're, we're, I don't we're, have the tall we're, part. Uh, we're 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 real. We need. We just we just need some. Scratching uh, of of the uh, you, you can do it. You yeah. can do yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We're all behind you. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 scratching. Yeah, we need scratching. Just need to polish ourselves. You need to great. great polish slime ourselves. and dirt off the outside. <laughs> okay. So what? What? What if? If I were to ask you guys, what is the modern woman looking for? Well, security is yes. the underlining thing that all women are looking for. Security. That's right. Needless to say, and not just okay. not just security, okay. uh, financial security, but yeah. security in a relationship. Because mm -hmm. in today's uh, today's world, I mean, relationships can be so fickle. I mean, they're mm -hmm. they're in, they're out. It's so easy. I mean, you look at the uh, the marriage rates, uh, the divorce rates, mm -hmm. and uh, nothing is permanent anymore. In our yeah. parents' day and age, very few. <coughs> if it was like you get yeah. married, it was forever. Yeah. yeah. But, but now it's oh like, God. Eh, maybe we won't get married. You know what? But you guys are going too deep. Uh, wow. On the, on the Sorry. <laughs> Let's bring it back to the superficial. <laughs> on a very superficial <laughs> level. On a very, uh, very superficial level. Okay. Women are actually just looking for that dream. Wedding, like the actual wedding. Women I are looking for like no. what? They're only the wedding? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, let's have you the dream what? wedding I've then. All right, I'm sorry, I'm out of here. No, 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 but I've asked women, like you know, the way they they look forward to their de debut, de 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 debut. Did you pay they these women? Debut. Yes. No, no, no these are the girls he's <laughs> no, dating. The thing, is, the thing is, women are groomed, like like you said a while ago, because of Disney and all that. 
to like expect this dream wedding. So sometimes mm-hmm. even if they don't really love the guy, mm-hmm. if the guy can provide that dream, you know, wedding, mm-hmm. sometimes they settle. And mm-hmm. we, we know, we pr- you probably know some women who've done this. Mm-hmm. No. I'd like to back up Ku for once Thank and you. say, wow. you guys always <laughs> side together. What are you talking about? Well, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> He's paying for the show. Might as well back him up. Um, no, but of course, these dream weddings happen on TV. For instance, uh, uh, will you? I know that's a bad example, but it is an example. Like Kardashian, for instance, um, she had this huge, tremendous, awesome dream wedding. Yeah. But then a week later, she got divorced. Exactly. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And this yeah, happens but that's a Hollywood, lot. Hollywood, and I'm sorry, I'm, uh, that's the Kardashians. Yeah, exactly. It's all done for TV. But dream, dream wedding, nonetheless. She got okay. her dream wedding, and I'm, everybody loved okay. it. It was a one couple of the highest year, rated shows. A couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, was it a couple of years ago or was it just last year or two years ago? Mm-hmm. Erwan right. and I actually attended a dream wedding okay. in Paris. Yes. And it was, I'm yes. sorry, it was the most mind-blowing wedding it was I could ever yeah. conceive of. Wow. And they are okay. still incredibly happily married. Mm-hmm. Um, and That's I think one they will out be of how many couples <laughs> in the world, <laughs> <Yeah>. Mark? <laughs> But I think they are in love. <laughs> seeing yes. that, no, no, but seeing that women these days are doing it just for the wedding is a completely different well, topic. Of course, of course. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's, I don't want to generalize. Personally, I think it's <laughs> it's definitely not it's not relevant. I think what Rivelson said in the beginning: women are looking for someone that can basically make them feel not insecure, okay. um, make them feel comfortable happy, content with their lives, um, and secure in the relationship. Now, is that is That's, that what the new Prince Charming is? I because you know they're not they're not they don't have to battle dragons or you know mm-hmm. or wolves or you know evil I think, I think the yeah, new, evil stepmothers anymore. I think the new anymore. Prince Charming is a balance of the old and the new because mm-hmm. like the new Prince Charming still has to be chivalrous like she still has to open doors. Spell chivalrous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. He has to be nice. Uh, nice. N i s e. Right. No, but he still has to be chivalrous. But at the same time, he has to be. Um, somewhat of a you know a modern man, which is you know he has to be he knows not how to drive. conservative, mm-hmm. not you know very adventurous because the, mm-hmm. the you know the olden man or the olden prince was very conservative, very like you know reserved. Agree? You're, well, yes. you're from France. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what is this? Still in the dark. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Medieval okay. years. Oh, we, for, we forgot to announce Europe, first first that the, the, the word of the day is gobbit. Okay. Go- oh, what is that? Gobbit. G O B B E T. I changed it. I love how you just throw it out. Right? That's awesome, dude. And okay. it basically What's means a lump or a mass. All right. Oh, I I'm having a gobbit on my no. throat just thinking Stop about it. Stop being a useless no, gobbit see, no. in the, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the you guys, it, it has to be worked into the conversation. I just did. No, yeah, I just you did. did. You, <laughs> I, like, I like Marks. That was good. <laughs> and stop staring looking into my eyes because you're forming a gobbit in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the mix. <laughs> anyway, the puede. mix going back. Okay. Okay, okay, going back, going back, going back. You said the mix between the old and the new. I think so. Right? Yeah. Okay, so it, it, what exactly? Because that doesn't mean shit to me, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. That's a cop out answer. It's like, if you're looking at around this table right now, if you were to see Revilson, is he uh, Prince Charming? Could he be a Prince Charming? He, actually, Revilson is a classic Prince Charming. Because he, a classic of the Prince new Charming? Yeah, 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 no, no. Because I know this guy. He's very, you know, he, he treats his women really nice. But at, t- at the same time, he can be a player if he wants to be. I think that's, that's the more important thing. And Prince Charming. No, he can be a Prince Charming because I think part of his appeal is the fact that women don't think she, he's a you know he's a he's a pushover. He's like a he's a like a, a boring guy. Okay, he's I'm fun, I'm sorry. Put, put the mic down. Don't defend yourself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm I'm going I'm going to I disagree with you. I know there's a compliment in there somewhere. <laughs> I know there is. I have to search it. I'm going to disagree with you. Uh, okay. Simply that because that I'm not you always no 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 no, 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 no. Because that's why you lost amazing. No, by fuck you too. By by Revilson's <laughs> definition of what women want, they want security. Now, okay. perhaps in uh, his uh, his current uh, version, that's not what he can offer uh, women. Okay, he can't give them relationship security yet. Well, maybe he just hasn't met the right one. Exactly. That doesn't mean exactly. he doesn't have the potential to yeah. be a prince charming yeah. because he is. He was raised very well. Okay, he's very respectful towards women. Exactly. Um, but he can't give them sec- the security yet. Is it safe Just to assume? For the right is it one? safe to assume Thank that you. men? Yeah, plain and simple. Is it safe to assume that men be- become prince charmings at the right time in their lives, or most men, not all? I, for me, my personal definition of what a modern prince charming is is a man in love with his woman. I think that's what men look at it as. Like, I'll be the Prince Charming because I'm in love with my Correct. woman. Mm-hmm. But and because, the, yeah, the but girl, the way she looks at it is more that 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 yeah. that security of being okay. in love plus all 
the bells and whistles. Okay. All the romance. Yeah, all the romance. I'm going to agree with you because uh, that, that, that is the definition <laughs> of first. Prince Charming. You are in love with the woman that you love, right? Mm-hmm. But it happens at the right stage in your life. Okay. Yeah. Because when for you're men, the, it's for always men, it's right timing. Stage. Mm. For men, it's timing. For women, for sure. it's the right guy. For men, Correct. it's the right stage time. or time in their life. Correct. <laughs> Agree? I don't know because then I'm going to ask you when's the right time for you guys. Clock's ticking, After boys. 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> 3 a.m. when the club's closing. <laughs> <laughs> and cue crickets. So basically, <laughs> when Revilson talks to you at 3 in the morning, you know exactly yes. what he yeah, wants yeah, from yeah. you. Yeah, she's right. offering you security or at least a roo- roof of your head for the <laughs> night. A blanket. No, a we're, blanket just, we're, we're just telling guys out there that you know, uh, if you oh feel like God. you're not, you know, women don't think you're a Prince Charming, you still can be yeah. at the right time and with the right girl. Yeah. Okay, yeah. after that gobbit of advice that we just gave out, uh, we, I think, we need a woman's perspective. Here, here, um, yes. Because we're all saying different things. Yeah. We're all pretending to know what they want. Yeah. We're all over the place. That is yeah. the age-old questions: what women mm-hmm. really want. So yeah, we have correct. a modern princess yes. who's probably like a wolf in sheep's clothing, anyways. Actually, who has a ninety-four thousand, hundred ninety-four thousand friends on. Twitter, one more time, one more time. We were behind yeah, you. We're, behind yeah, you. Yeah, we're yeah. right here for you. The the un- it's bigger than 10, I know. 194,000. <laughs> okay, Steven, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. All right, we'll be right back with our guest. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back from that wonderful little commercial break. And we have with us right now a beautiful guest, and I'm not talking about Erwan. <laughs> Damn it! No, we have today someone I actually went to middle school with. A Ooh. lot of people don't know. We were in the French school together, and Lord she was that three. really That's awkward, cool. skinny girl that was always looking up to me um, and the things I did, right? <laughs> um, and basically, so here we and have... you were the, chub- I love the your stand-up chubby routine. kid. I was a chubby <laughs> kid, the bully. Um, yeah, and I kind of ruled the school and we kind of ruled the losers. world. We uh, So we have Carla Humphreys here on the show today with us. Yes! yes. Actress extraordinaire. Exactly, a great actress and an artiste. I've seen some of her paintings. She made a hollow hollow painting in my house once. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool you know why her inspiration? Because it was a hot day. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. wow. Very deep. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid he knows too much about me. So, oh, thank you, Carla, for being with us. Hi, Carla. Thank Hi. you, guys. I'm here to educate you on your There you go. Best. Please. <laughs> thank you. Because we've been having a hard time. On, uh, on more of Erwan's uh, awkward phase as well. <laughs> yes. Well, you see, it started long ago. No, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, but we, hear, we hear that like, you believe in like fairy tale, you know. Romance. Romance. You know, yeah, stuff like sadly, that. everyone knows me too well, so he knew exactly what subject to pick. Exactly, because okay. um, I know it'd be personal. But but before we get there, we want to warm you up with okay. some questions. Um, yes. okay. That is the most annoying thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to start you off with some questions. What is your favorite word? My favorite word? It probably wouldn't be in English. It would probably be a sentence. Is that okay? Yeah. Sto morendo. Which is the first <laughs> sentence. Steven's face is like, what the fuck? Sto morendo. Uh, and it just... Thank it, God, it, we it, have <laughs> Spanish listeners. It's, it's Italian, no, my it's friend. Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. So this just proves the fact that I'm a hopeless romantic. Because awesome. sto morendo <laughs> is uh, Italian for I'm dying. And it's the first thing uh, I learned in Italian when I was... Um, being choked to death? No, I, I, I asked, a, <laughs> I I asked a man. Uh-huh. I asked a man, okay, what's, I was thinking, okay, what's the most important thing? Like, if I'm dying, I should say something. So I said, um, what, what's I'm dying in Italian? So this random guy said, mm-hmm. sto morendo. And I, ever since I was younger, I would always faint and say, sto morendo, I'm can dying. We, can we try it now? Sto morendo. <laughs> Did that, did, you, did that make you happy? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I didn't really Some get the sort point of there. Okay. The funny thing is, that's uh, the third time. I think he's got a bit of a goblin. Right? <laughs> he's got that's a little goblin in his pants he's now. Choked. He's choked today. <laughs> <laughs> Nigella. <Sorry>. Okay. Um, <laughs> second question: What's your favorite sound? My favorite sound. Uh, probably the sound of a uh, of vinyl. Nice. On a record Very player. Good. Such a hipster. Not that's guy. Not guy on a vinyl. Yeah. Scratch. Yeah. That's a good. Um, not a vinyl. Vinyl jumpsuit. Is your favorite swear word, and why? You can say it. Say it with gusto too. Yeah. Really? Yes. yes really. really. Oh my gosh. Just Morendo, like that. <laughs> well, like that. Don't be Filipino. Okay, crickets. What's a cricket sound? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I actually Man. say. I actually Put down, set up. Uh, which ones? Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm actually not a swear person. Which oh is so god! Boring. Okay. What's the first thing you would say if you saw Stephen Koo naked? Yeah. I put that. There you go. That's a swear word. All right. Well, I think that is a new question. That is. Thank you for the motivation. That's exactly what I needed. When you die, as long as six inches. Come on, you up. When you die and go to heaven, what does um, Saint Peter? What does Saint Peter tell you at the pearly white gates? You are a child of God. Enter. <laughs> You're a child of God. Enter. <laughs> okay. Wearing the wrong shoes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Awesome. You guys, okay. your questions. Guys, go okay, ahead. Okay. If ahead. you were a Disney character, except mm. the princess, who would you be? Except the princess? Except any princess. Like, you can be Nemo. <laughs> Nemo would be the princess in his movie, though, wouldn't he? In I would game? be. She would actually be Dory. You know? Dory. Nemo. I was yeah. actually gonna say I'd be uh, Dory okay, good, good, good. because Dory? yeah, I always forget things. I'm the most forgetful person. You don't have person. to explain. People yeah, know what Dory stands for. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, Mark. Mr. Nelson. All right. Um, this one's a little bit intellectual, so bear okay. with me. Um, a penguin <laughs> walks through that door right now, wearing a sombrero. Sombrero. A sombrero. Yeah. A sombrero. <laughs> he remembers it's a sombrero. It's a sombrero. <laughs> Uh, wearing great. a sombrero, what is he doing here, and what does he say? How is that deep? That's it, it, it's it's pretty because yeah. it's going to take a it's while to answer. <laughs> That's why. Um, <laughs> he's not saying anything because he can't speak. Oh, oh. Okay, why is he here? Uh, because there's a salsa party. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hello, Oh, I thought I asked mine already. Okay, yeah, that's that, right. Yeah. Okay, so Carla, we are talking about. Wait, can I? Can't I have a question? Totally. Yes, by all means. Totally. Okay. Directed at all to of who? Us. To who? To to each and every one of you. Oh, fuck. And we have to answer within five seconds. Okay. okay right? So you Go. start name first and then question. Okay. What comes into mind when you think of coffee? Smell. Starbucks. Sex. Uh, energy. Okay. Sex, Stephen. <laughs> Actually, How do you wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. So he wakes up at nine in the this morning. Is, this is a uh, psychological sex. question. Wait, you don't know what he does with his coffee. <laughs> coffee, uh, coffee. No wonder I saw a hair in that coffee when you offered it to me. Remind me to make sure I never have coffee with cream at your place. Wait, Next must. time he invites me over for coffee, I'll be oh, like, do you really want to butt fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> Ask me any word. Is that, is that me any word? <laughs> Guys, actually, that's a psychological okay, 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 question okay, okay. for how you perceive sex. Oh. oh. <laughs> so yours is dark, quick. <laughs> dark, instant, quick, instant. 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 Uh, yours yeah. is... Energetic. Yours, oh, wow. yours is paid for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and expe- and, hey, and, overpriced. <laughs> and overpriced. And overpriced. And overpriced. Yeah. Yeah. And mine is experimental. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? For I coffee? said smell. Yeah, no. freaky. No, yeah. That's freaky. That's a little disgusting. Freaky. Yeah. Like that is. Stinky man. sex. Ooh. I, I think the weird part is that's a question about sex and Steven said sex. <laughs> so. But I think that's that the weird part. But John Paul said sex. I mean, that's the only thing on Steven's mind in the first place. Right, exactly. <laughs> so Steven, what's your favorite unicorn sex? <laughs> <laughs> your favorite vegetable sex. <laughs> no, All right, moving on. We're I'm talking about part you, yo. <laughs> We're talking about Somebody's got to say it. <laughs> we're talking about the modern fairy tale. Okay. Um, we were basically trying to give our own definitions of it, and I think we all failed miserably. Oh, okay. So, yes. as a woman, what is the fairy tale? What is Prince Charming? Yeah. What do you guys all expect? What do for? women okay, want? Okay, before in a anything, are all I women delusional? <laughs> Sex. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> before anything, can I just have a disclaimer? I By am all not means. looking for a husband, so. Okay. I don't want. Oh, all you're the in the right company then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking for a husband. A mm-hmm. prince charming is just an ideal. Mm-hmm. So, um, to me, an attainable uh, ideal or just an ideal? They're out there. In any form or shape, it's an ideal. Okay. But it could okay. come they're in any there. form. Or shape. Yeah. They're out there. Like yeah. <laughs> they're out there. <laughs> Bigfoot. They're out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not delusional, guys, but I do believe in fairy tales. Um, in a real. Uh, Fairy tales applied to real life. Um, for to me, a fairy tale or an ideal guy, my prince charming, uh, would be someone that is uh, brings out the best in me. Mm-hmm. Um, the typical prince charming would be handsome. 
tall, dark, mm-hmm. handsome. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a prince because he's financially stable. Mm-hmm. That's Correct. why Jackie Kennedy married Onassis. Correct. Um, but he wasn't tall, dark, and handsome. I know. But oh, I short, guess fat, and ugly. Short, fat, <laughs> and ugly. Yeah. I guess he got th- she got that with the Kennedy and ah, yeah. okay. Um, and basically, someone that would who believes in marriage. No, not necessarily, but someone who would make me fall in love. Mm, every and day. And fe- actually, <laughs> I don't really. think I I oh. don't think it's about insecurity and some w- and See. um a guy making. Making a woman feel content and secure about herself, and but I think it's uh, more of the guy. Well, there is that assurance. Mm-hmm. Of course, you want a guy that makes you That's the backbone. feel like wake up. Steve. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, he's he's bored because he knows it's never gonna happen to him. That's why. <laughs> okay, keep going. But uh, shoot, I lost track of what I was saying. <laughs> so, so you believe. In so basically, you're saying you believe in everything you said. You believe in everything you said. There's a backbone of security, exists. but still with the whirlwind. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So, so he, the yeah. whirlwind for you is a fairy tale. The not necessarily, trips, but I think because for the longest time I I watched these these movies. Mm-hmm. I was brainwashed by society to mm-hmm. make, th- and it made me think that you know my. The guy that's gonna make yeah. me fall deeply in love is gonna come on a white horse and mm-hmm. rescue me from all my burdens, and mm-hmm. you know. So um, do you s- do you still believe very in that? Pretty woman. That's the question. Is I there is that still possible? Is there still hope for that? I do believe in it, but I still haven't found it. So okay. there is that doubt. Okay. So what? Yeah, does that you know that white horse is gonna take a crap on your carpet. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that so way, yeah, it needs to well, shit and eat. Well, yeah. like right. a woman, the modernized version of it is, yeah. you know, Richard Gere comes on his white horse, which is a limousine, and then he's his head is out the sunroof, and you, he's waving. Okay, her. are you calling but her a prostitute? No, but I'm calling okay. her Julie Roberts. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Got out of that, that one. one. Yeah. Whose role was a prostitute? <laughs> okay. Also, I believe that you know, um, you can be the wrong guy, but for that girl, you, you can, can be become the, the right. That's prince. Right. So how do you go from the guy who's in love with you to the prince, prince. charming fairy tale guy? Because I guess when a guy falls in love with a woman, he he's willing to compromise himself, willing to mm-hmm. be the man that she wants him to be without necessarily having to change him, but naturally wanting to do things that normally he wouldn't do for just any hoe. So, <laughs> so is yes. it changing him? That's what love <laughs> is. Not, not Wait, changing no, him. Wait, yeah. Carla, Carla, is it possible yeah. to have yeah. a Prince Charming but not have those traits that you just mentioned? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, can you can you cite some traits? I guess a prince charming could come in a rude, farty guy, but w- makes you feel like the world, the world was made to bring again. both uh, both of you together. You know. Okay. So yeah, so cheesy you're like that. I like, I like you know what I find like funny is what <laughs> Steve Wilson has nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you lost like, me at the word love. Are you oh, talking wait, wait, about? You said that. the yeah, word wait. love and you lost <laughs> me there. I tuned out. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 wait. Now you, okay, Erwin and I Mark, eat you both have girlfriends. <laughs> yes. yes. You think you guys are the Prince Charmings of your girlfriends? That's a good question, right? Yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah. calling myself a Prince Charming would be very egoistic. Yes. Okay. A Prince Charming would not call himself a Prince Charming. Exactly. So you guys aren't aren't Prince Charming. I'm just naturally a Prince Charming. But they're just trying to be. No, I think I think. I think if you're in love, you strive to be a Prince Charming. Okay. Um, whether do, or not do you, you do? succeed. Um, well, I think a lot of the, the regular gentlemanly type uh, things, uh, uh, pulling her chair out, opening the door for <laughs> her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you're, in a, yeah. you're well on your way to becoming a Prince Charming, Stephen. <laughs> you're a keeper. You're such yeah. a small bit of a douchebag. Uh, uh, cooking dinner for her, uh, telling her that you, that you love her, um, being just generally sweet, uh, doing things unexpected. I'd like to add to that. Yes. I mean, the, the film oh God. of the moment, yes, I, can you believe this? I will actually contribute. A film, the film of the moment is Before Midnight, before midnight. right? Mm. And I mean, that obviously, uh, yes, we're going to rise out of you. The simple <laughs> underlying thing among other underlying things of that film is listening. Listening. Just listening to your woman. I mean, reacting to it and doing what she says is another thing, but just at <laughs> least listen to her. And don't just nod your head kind of like how... You know, Stephen nods his head to girls. Hey, uh, I, and yeah. if you <laughs> saw how Jesse, the character yes. of okay. Ethan Hawke, was so patient as um, Celine was bitching. Yes. I mean, oh I'm my sure God. he was. He wouldn't be as patient if he didn't love her. And Correct. As an outsider's point of view, mm. um, I think it's easier to see if a person or a man is in love. Like, uh oh, Erwan. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yes, or one. Yes. yes. He would do stuff that you never think he would do. He would. He's a kinky kind he of guy. He would yes. write letters from Russia oh, okay. to Anne. Um, oh. He would. Oh. He, he's very, very thoughtful. Thank you. He would Thank have you. things personalized. Mm-hmm. I mean, I very have. I, I follow mm-hmm. Mark on Instagram, mm-hmm. and I, it's the first time that I've seen him this like vocal about a woman. Wow. Mm. Hey. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. My, I, yes, my, my yes. personal. I think it's the subtle. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Little little yeah. Yeah. So Absolutely. It doesn't, yeah. Absolutely. It doesn't take out the manliness of a guy if he becomes this Prince Charming. I think it's even more manly. Yeah. Like yeah. Being able Absolutely. to because you're assert yourself in that. Yeah, and you're yeah. comfortable enough in your in your masculinity and sexuality yeah. to mm-hmm. do go the extra mile. I think, and, yeah. If yeah. you're in a relationship, you're really in love with your woman and What's you really want to be this Prince Charming, I think what how, what that is, it's basically letting the woman be who she is and making her fall yeah. in love with you every day. I'm going to throw it out to yeah. both of you in relationships. Sorry, yeah. Stephen. What is the roman- most romantic thing you believe you've done for your girlfriend up to date right now. Three seconds, too. go. Who's this marker? Uh, my Both current, of you, go. All right, my current girlfriend? Think? Yes, your current girlfriend. Uh, I created a, uh, a book of memories for her. Awesome. Like a scrapbook? Yeah, I okay. put all the photos together. I add, added captions. I had it, uh, I had it professionally bound um, and had it uh, delivered to her as a surprise. Cool. Okay. I, I've Irwin. done... I think this is a competition now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No fair. He's French. <laughs> go, 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 go. I've done um, a whole apartment tour. Um, post-it wall. I've done strings strapped onto the ceiling with 100 letters written on it. Um, I did personalized furniture with all her favorite quotes, her favorite movies, her favorite okay, things. Um, I did three different boxes signifying three different trips we would take that year. Each trip organized to the T with all the hotels that are okay, booked and places like that. <laughs> okay. um, I've done... What, okay, Stephen? Go, no, Stephen, go. What, you made a video? Okay. I, I, made a, I make a video I made, every I made, three I months. I made a video of how I met her up to the point where... Okay. Stephen well, texted back. Stephen, yeah. <laughs> I've set up a he whole... Said, who's this? I, I, I've <laughs> set up a whole some underwater who's world this? in a room for Valentine's because... Are you still together? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that was... I was in love. But you were invited to her wedding. Yeah. All right. <laughs> while, while Stephen thinks and reminisces his failed relationship, <laughs> glory days. Uh, we'll yeah. take a break and then we'll come back with our guest. Um, yeah. Keep listening to the cave. Uh, It'll oh. get better. Promise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Cave. Uh, Woo! We're hey! back here you, with good. Carla Humphreys. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank so you. we're talking about uh, the fairy tale myth and how much that is bullshit. No, I'm kidding. We're talking <laughs> about how the fairy tale myth and whether or not it's still a modern idea and if it's still possible. And we went that in length, both being funny uh, with Revilson and Steven and both being serious and uh, deep with the rest of us. Uh, so, <laughs> still trying to understand did, the did concept like that? that love these Boom, guys. Boom, that was a summary. <laughs> um, so now we're going to talk about, since Modesty. we're talking about Prince Charmings and everything, yeah. um, let's talk about, you know how guys hate to admit to other guys when they're in love or when they want to be a girl's everything? Yeah. So let's talk about the top 10 signs. They're whipped. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah. they're pretty Basically, much whipped. Top, exactly. ten, okay. top yeah. ten signs you want to be her Prince, prince Charming. Charming, but yes. secretly. Secretly. Okay. And Carla, please feel free to give your top ten as well. We'll go around. Um, two out of ten. Yeah. yeah. And no teasing, guys. <laughs> no teasing. So we'll, we'll start with Mr. Relationship himself. Who actually, by the way, mm. looks like Charlie Brown today. Is it just me? Really? It's like a, a Pantone gray Charlie Brown. Mm. Oh, right? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, he looks actually, like that guy in X-Men, m- actually. <laughs> just because it's just not all bald people look alike. <laughs> okay, yeah, go yeah, now. Yeah. Start. Uh, you know what? I just recently attended a wedding, and <gasps> I have to admit, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have to admit, you could totally stole the wedding. I said to myself, "Wow, <laughs> all my best friends are here. We're all dressed up. Delicious food." I I actually would you like to have that dream bitch. wedding. I would you like to have bitch it. just stole it from me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I listened to them earl- both yeah. earlier. You totally ripped him off. <laughs> <laughs> but, I had, but I had way better presentation. Okay. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. You felt that story better. Thank you. That's um, number it was two actually for me would yeah. be when um, your guy friends invite you out and you give them a bogus excuse, but the only real reason you don't want to go out is because you want to hang out with your girlfriend. But you're scared to admit it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Mm. Go, Carla. Okay. 
Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, pick it up. <laughs> Robin when Hood. you reenact moments that you've spent together and you laugh all of a sudden out of blue like a weirdo. Okay. Like in your head, you're, you're reenacting it and, and then you're like... So oh, in your head, you're so you're like, like even more weirdo. Shoot, like nobody got that. Nobody... This is a guy. Or a girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> when you uh, secretly use that app... Where you combine faces to see the <laughs> picture of your offspring. <laughs> ah, to see your offspring. Offspring. Change faces. Oh. Like, yeah, like when you. Uh, oh, okay. oh, that's gonna be the, uh, right. the how my baby will look like with her. That's like that's kind of weird. Is that how you decide whether whether they're a keeper or not? Yeah. It's like, oh, ugly kid. The no, eyes. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta break up. Definitely, the eyes have to be bigger. Even your face wouldn't match with anyone. <laughs> You, you'll be surprised. <laughs> this He's is a done good app a lot. It's a good obviously. palette. Who's <laughs> face? It's, like, it's, it's uh, clay. It works with everything. <laughs> it's nice and bland. <laughs> Add color anyway. to it. Nelson, All right, take um, Save us. Okay, you're uh, you're in the car. You're listening to the radio, and you hear those cheesy love love songs. Now, normally you're just like ah, change, change, but you actually listen to it, mm. and you can relate. You're like, like oh, what song? Oh, that's sweet. Give us a song, bro. What's the latest song? I am a man now? who will fight for your see? honor. A lot of Bruno Mars songs, actually. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Cool. Day. I'm going to go old school. Uh, we've done this before. The whole, uh, well, if you're a girl anyway, you doodle your name, Kunware, Carla, and then, you know, the guy's name is, we were dating, Fernandez. So, Carla Fernandez. Can I do that? And you would doodle their name? I remember some girls yeah, doing that yeah. in high school. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's that means what you, you want to be do? a Prince Charming? So, when you're over 30, that is something you do. <laughs> wow. And a man. Not only you want to be your Prince Charming, but Not you are, are a you retard. Not only are you stealing <laughs> I'm just his idea. Out. Who, you're you, making you it worse. Have a notebook? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> this whole concept He's of love. He's got crayons. I'm trying to buy time because I don't have one. Yeah, so <laughs> go <around>. Screw you. <laughs> Keep going. Screw you. No originality, by the way. Yeah. What? Thank yeah. you. Stealing from movies. Because <laughs> he's never been in love. Uh, <laughs> he still doesn't You know what? If it. I punch you, you're going to have a goblet in your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that counts. When, yeah, all right. when you unconsciously talk about the person. Randomly. Ah, uh, yeah. While having okay. sex. Not while having sex. No, like Steven. you're talking to your friends <laughs> and you're like, you know, it was so coffee. funny when I was with... Steven? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <Please> when <laughs> you're watching a romantic movie like Before Sunrise and like you're imagining like you're Ethan Hawke and she's Julia. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, when you watch thing? romantic movies and you imagine yourself as, as the, the leading, leading guy. Character. And ah. the leading okay, now I get it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that's God. interesting. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> when you actually introduce her to your friends and you're not afraid of showing PDA in front of them, uh, or actually even in public, or Baby Doc. Since we've covered this in Mark, don't you dare do baby talk again. Can you be my princess? That's how he talks to us, actually. Mine is, I think, what a good sign. I've seen this with with a lot of friends. This is number 10. This is Don't put that pressure on me because it's not me. This better be a good one, bro. Basically, when you feel the need to always tell her where you are. There's an inherent what are you, nine. No, no. What there's you, a, there's an inherent need tonight. to basically tell her, "Hey, I'm here. I'm going here. I'm about to go to dinner. I'm about." Okay, being ass whipped is not the same as being. No, charming. no. I see Mark's nodding because it's true. Because Amen. it right? comes naturally after a while. Because you just don't want any surprises. You don't want any problems. So you say, "Hey, I'm going out right now." Or it's being I'm, really considerate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See. Okay. It's no, not really the best answer, but it's okay, not, we'll yeah. own it. Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so going <laughs> to your. What's the. What? Oh, What's the, the problem, ah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Sorry, we have a new thing where we basically <laughs> ask our readers for questions. So Revilson has a couple of questions here. Yeah. That well, first of all, we'd like to thank uh, everyone who's contributed. Again, uh, we have uh, you know uh, our Twitter for you and our Facebook. This is your show. We want to know what you want to uh, <laughs> hear. So oh. I'm trying to talk as much as I can because I haven't fucking talked this whole <laughs> show. <laughs> Bang ina. All right, Camila at Camila. This is it right here. She's asking, "Why is the fairy tale story a myth?" And nine question marks. That's that's a lot. That's she hit when nine. It's nine she's yeah, pissed. when it's nine. Eight, not so much, but nine. <laughs> Why is it a myth? It's I think. Well, I think it's a myth because um, no one has I'll, proven it. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> no I'm going to answer that really quickly. It's a All myth right, because it's a tale. 
it's called the fairy tale for a reason. The, yeah, there, there's no such thing as the, fairy. everyone no has an idea uh, of a fairy tale romance. But once fairies. reality hits and you're in a relationship after the first few months, and you know, like you know, your partner starts farting, and yeah. you know, uh, you know, maybe you're not as sweet the to each other period. anymore. The honeymoon period is over. Then all of a sudden, the fairy tale's gone. And some yeah. women are looking for the fairy tale all the time. And when they realize, oh wait, hold on, it's not fairy tale. Oh, I'm not happy in this relationship anymore. But Every relationship's going to get there eventually. So it's hey. just, you know, uh, you have to deal with the reality and yeah. accept slightly lower expectations. And, uh, yeah. Eventually? I would think the fairy tale starts out in the beginning. That's the honeymoon stage. Yes. And it gets worse and, and, no, that's and what I you mean. have to rekindle it somehow. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> yeah. Wow, aren't it you a positive person? Boring. Yeah, hey, wait, but every, you, fa- hey. every fairy tale has you. a dark part in the story. There's all there are always yeah, problems before the ending yeah, becomes happy. There are always gobbits on the road. Exactly. Um, and not <laughs> that you need to conquer. Wicked witches. Wait, well so Carly, well you going to say? Thank you. I was going to say that it also depends on the personality of the the person in love or that's part of the equation because if you are the type that all you see is the negative, then you'll never see a fairy tale. Mm. But if you're the type of person that everything you see is positive, then even if there's hard times, you'll still consider it as a fairy tale as the air concerts on. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, brilliant. Uh, we have another question from our bro, bro, CrossFit bro. Yes, um, thanks. At Rafi Zamora. Rafi Zamora. He always has well, I know stuff. Rafi. Dating a bro's ex slash sister slash cousin slash mom. So this is actually part of the... Is that okay? Wait, yeah. hold on. First of all, I want to ask. So he's saying that if one of your bros has an ex who also happens to be his sister and his mom, <laughs> is it okay to date? Then, uh, yeah, I don't no, know how that Then that's a reality show. My right. question is, <laughs> you guys have been friends okay. for a while, right? Yeah. Have you ever dated the same girl? No. That's Would you ever date the same girl? Nope. We don't have the same no. taste. How yeah. would, but how, Very different taste. If you wanted taste. to date one someone, uh, one of ex- Mark's ex, how, how would you ask? Well, just plain and simple. Hey, dude, uh, is it cool? I, I like your ex. I think we... So it is okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, no, and but it, I, again, and, and with Mark it, and I, we if he would says never... No, okay. If yeah. he says no... I'd still fucking... Well, yeah. I probably would have nailed her anyway. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I just <laughs> want to ask her. <laughs> but no, no, anyway, it's quite it's romantic. A, it's, it's it's a whole, this is a whole episode series, so we're going to discuss it more, but I'm glad you guys... I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Sister, yeah. Ex, okay, as long as you ask mother. As long as you ask people. Never the mother. And as long as you're not an asshole. Unless you really hate them. There are (laughs) a lot of milfs these days. Yeah, but I wouldn't never date a friend. Yeah, that is correct. What if it's like a far, far friend? Like it's an acquaintance? So he's not a friend. He's not a bro. We're talking about bros. Yeah, bros. Yeah. Yeah. You don't understand what that means. That's <laughs> 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 okay. Bros. Bro. Okay. Um, Says the French guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Um, side. We wanted to do uh, what the we're fuck. We're going to do what, what the, the fuck. A new seg- it's the new segment. It's called WTF. And we're going to just this say some, what the fuck. some things yeah. that we uh, we have we, it, our peeves mm. that, yeah. that women find like... Adorable. Okay, Adorable. Basically, he, he, took, he took 10 minutes to explain <laughs> what the fuck is about a segment that says, <laughs> that makes fuck. us say what the fuck. There. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going um, to kick off the what the fuck segment. Um, uh, okay, uh, we've all been to, for instance, uh, Bonifacio High Street, and we've yes. seen everyone brings their pets, everyone brings their dogs. Now, don't get me wrong, I love dogs, even, and I understand the, the idea of liking small dogs and everything. What I do not understand, say why do you put shoes on dogs? What the, the fuck? Yes, seriously. <laughs> dogs were not meant to have shoes. I they have paws. They can handle. But seeing this little dog trying to like balance on these stupid He's little heels angry. or something, yeah, it, it it upsets me. You kicked my dog. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nail art. What the fuck? <laughs> Why do you put like bow ties and like cars and like? I'm not offended. Balls on your nails. <laughs> he, he, balls. <laughs> he balls. Like, on their balls. nails. Yeah. Imagine picking your yeah, nose with that thing, right? It's, it's a, a fad right now, fad especially now. with bloggers. Balls as in like testes or? No, like, as in like. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say coffee, oh, I bro. Thought, I, I, yeah. thought, I thought <laughs> testicles. Yeah, yeah ball, ball. Going around with testicles on their fingernails. Little secrets. Like, look at my ten testes. It's called caviar. Caviar. It's nail caviar. caviar. Yeah, nail caviar. Uh, what balls and alcohol caviar? I don't. Yeah. Fish I, eggs, I have basically. never tried it, but I, I see so your you frustration. Su- do you support caviars? Uh, it depends on your personality. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Balls on your nails would look like some sort of nail disease or something. Exactly. Like warts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Do you have a what the fuck? Or do no, I don't have a what the fuck. Do you have a fact or actually. fiction you want to ask a guest? Uh, no, I don't. I'm actually. I, 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 I've to, completely Would you like tuned to out to this, this show. To this, I've uh, turned off uh, podcast in any I, way, shape, or you, form. You yeah. lost me on. Welcome back to the cave. <laughs> How about this one? 
we all know girls travel in pairs to the bathroom and they're obviously talking about you, but how bad is it? Is it like a, ooh, so what do you think? Are you gonna fuck him tonight? Or ooh, what's <laughs> weird? That combo's horrible? Or yeah. ooh, you know, what is it? You're, what, how bad or how good or what's going on in that bathroom? Say it. What? Everything that's bad. Oh, my Your on the worst negative. nightmare is ooh. happening in the bathroom. Wow. Okay. We are criticizing and uh-huh. dissecting your being from head to toe. Wow. That's hey, do you guys ever say anything right. nice? If yeah. It, yeah. No, no, no. Well. Actually, if it's going well, then it's all it's all bust us from there. Uh, bust us. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> so doing it. Oh my god, right in that tonight. <laughs> Why are your girls black? Because <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna be French. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that was racist. Him with I think we actually <laughs> should take this opportunity. Like you, you put us in the right direction here. I think okay. for once, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should actually take the opportunity <laughs> to <laughs> to sorry. to ask. We're talking about myths and tales and whatnot. We should ask Carla and debunk some some myths or some mysteries that men have always wanted to know about women. So I'll pass it on to <laughs> one wow. of you guys. Great. Great. Yes. All right. the crickets. <laughs> this is your opportunity. Yeah. Stephen, um, what do you know, want to know about women? Okay, yeah, okay. I, wanna, I wanted to find out if, if it's a myth um, that guys eventually become Prince Charmings at the right age or stage in their lives. Like, they can be assholes, but then when they hit a certain age, they can be no, Prince Charmings. No, that's definitely not a myth. Um, so because that's why they have the saying, it, it was the right girl at the wrong time or... You have because the right girl at the wrong um, men, it takes a lot for a man, uh, a man to want to settle down, and yeah. it's it takes a lot for a guy to want to share his life with another person. Agreed. So agree. Mm-hmm. It's really okay. a stage, or it's timing is definitely essential. Okay, yeah. so I, I have a I have a quick follow up question for okay. the two single boys. Mm-hmm. What is that age for you guys? <laughs> it, me, it's right now. We had the right love. That's what he whispered into three girls that night. We bumped into each other in privy. No, Mm. I said I was ready. Yeah, (laughs) to leave. Ready for what? To leave the club. It's three a.m. I'm ready. No, no, but no, but seriously though. No, seriously for guys, it's normally like thirty-five and above. I think that's a safe age. Yeah, yeah. Safe age to say. Understood. Thirty-five and above, and then you, you've, you know, you've, you've, you've done everything you need to do. How old is he? (laughs) I uh, no. You want to cut them in half and count yeah, the rings? Okay. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do okay. that. Okay, or just cut them in half. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so, so to recap the episode, Erwin. Yeah, no, we're not recapping. No. It. no or okay. also, how about how about entering a relationship prematurely, and then? What do you mean? Like you think you're in love at the wrong, uh, like at a young age, and then you end up. So infatuation, basically. As a male, yeah. Well, that no, would be lust. N- no, like you really fall in love at a young age, mm. and then. When you break up, that's when you have your check your second childhood. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Mm. I agree. Mm. Okay. A lot, a yeah, lot of guys mature yeah. after really bad breakups. They become well, that, that's because, as, as she said, that uh, maybe they've gotten into a relationship too soon. Uh, a little bit too early. Yeah. Or they've yeah. found the right girl, but it's a little too early, and then they still need to get so that th- uh, single mm-hmm. part yeah. of them out, so the yeah. wild side. That yeah, prolongs sure. even more. Basically, mm. ladies and gentlemen, our takeaway for today's show is that men... We all become Prince Charming at one point. Have the potential to become Prince Charming. We all have the potential to be great. But before that, we need to be frogs. (sighs) Okay. Um, So, (laughs) now now I'm going to ask the question that you just shouldn't have said that right now. Carla, uh, you're going to tell us who the winner and the loser of this episode is. Who is a frog and Um, who is a Prince Charming? Basically on whatever criteria, criterium, criteria, criteria Criteria. uh, you like. Uh, The winner... My is house. This is my house. <laughs> is Come on, quickly now. You have to go fast. You can Everyone. Go. Yes. What? Yeah. Woo! Being they obviously nice. had sex Don't together. Make- <laughs> oh my <laughs> sorry. gosh, no way. <laughs> the loser is... <laughs> you can't make sense. Rovi. The loser is yeah. Rovi. Okay, <laughs> so the house. tally of the points. Out of my house. Yep. Stephen Koo is minus 10. Mark Nelson is plus. Where the plus ten? All right, well done. I'm sorry. Plus ten and my two minus tens right here. Do they? Why isn't that surprising? I don't know. (laughs) know Why is that a lesson for the guys in a relationship? Or mediocrity is rewarded. (sighs) Yes, it is. Yeah. At 3 a.m. It's a universe. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, that Thank was you. the case. Thank you very much. very much. Make sure you follow us. Yes. Uh, remember, first, Carla, thank you very much for coming. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much, here. Carla. Um, please watch out for uh, my movie, uh, 10,000 Hours with Robin Padilla mm-hmm. for the Metro Manila Film Fest and Becky nice. Kang, directed by Derek Wenderamas. Coming soon. Nice. Awesome. And okay. Human Centipede 3. 
Oh my <laughs> god! Her. And her Twitter, Twitter, her Twitter account is is Carla underscore Humphrey. Same goes for my Instagram. Okay, Woo. all right. Follow the cave at Cave Podcast. That's right. And uh, Facebook dot com slash Cave, cave podcast. podcast. And also, uh, you can email us at the Cave Podcast mail at gmail dot com. The yeah. best email address okay. ever. And just yeah. for those of you wondering, yes, it re- there is really is a mail at the end of that. M A I L. So. The Correct. Cave Podcast. Please send mail us at video at questions, com. more questions, so we can interact with everyone listening and watching us. You can and also follow our personal Twitter accounts. Mine is Quick Off the Mark, Mark with a C. Mine's at Stephen Koo. Mine is Air One J Yusuf. Revilson underscore F. So thank you very much. That was the Cave, and we'll see you next week. Yay! Woo, thank you very much for joining us, guys. Look forward I want to hearing from you. I want to destroy the internet. <laughs>